Hey, I'm Terry Molinaro. I host the late night show on Life 100.3, The Slam, as it were. Uh, what a few months it's been recently, eh? Even putting everything to do with like COVID-19 aside, I know people, I don't know about you, but I know people who seem to be going through like one thing after another, after another, everything from finances to health to relationship situations. I was thinking about it though, and one thing that is a commonality between them all is the sense of fear. Have you ever been afraid to the point where you've been paralyzed? You know, where, um, you know, there was that situation or the obstacle or whatever was in front of you and it became the only thing that you could focus on. You know, fight or flight, adrenaline, the heart rate goes up. Do you know what's interesting about it? When we feel fear, for the most part, we tend not to be able to focus on anything else and usually for a good reason. You know, I was listening to this guy and he shared a story from a time he was out hunting on Kodiak Island where there are ridiculously large uh, bears, like Jurassic Park style size. And all of a sudden a grizzly bear, it, like it charged him and his friends. He had seconds to react. He didn't have time to focus on like the football game that was happening that weekend. Um, you know, what he was preparing to do the next day. See, fear caused him to focus on exactly what was at hand. Now that's a healthy fear, one that would cause you to make right decisions, like not jumping out in front of a car, uh, not sticking a fork in an electrical outlet. There's wisdom in that fear. However, there's also an unhealthy fear that I wanted to talk about today. Let's take even our very real current situation, COVID-19. You know, people are taking precautions for the most part. Uh, you know, we're doing our part, we're social distancing, the extroverts are off like somewhere shaking in a corner. But life is slowly starting to get to a more manageable place. However, there are also those who are fixated, almost in terror of what's happening right now around them. Now, I don't want you to get me wrong here. I'm not demonizing anyone. I'm not condemning anyone. I'm not I'm saying to not be cautious and follow proper procedures. What I am saying is that when the focus starts to shift from God to fear, we, as believers, set ourselves up for disaster. There's this man in the Bible, Maybe you've heard of him, maybe not. King David, pretty popular. One day he famously killed a giant. If you read the story, it's quite amazing to recognize not just what he did, but like the way that he spoke. Uh, even as he's confronting the giant, he declares a lot of things. He says, I will kill you. I will cut off your head and feed your flesh to the birds. Like he's focused, he's determined, he's ready to go. He wants to see the victory for both Israel and God. But most importantly, he ends up doing just that. Then years later, we find a different David, a man who is still after God's heart, but a man who takes his eyes off of the prize. So 2 Samuel 11, it said, in the spring of the year, when kings normally go out to war, David sent Joab and the Israelite army to fight the Ammonites. They destroyed the Ammonite army and laid siege to the city of Rabbah. However, David stayed behind in Jerusalem. The story goes on and because David shifted his focus and he wasn't where he was supposed to be, he ends up committing adultery, murder, which then leads to rape and unrest in his family. And I'm sure like a lot more that the Bible does not mention. What I was thinking though is like, what can we learn from these two different stories about the same guy? I think one of the things is what we focus on, what we choose to focus on really matters. It'll end up determining outcomes. And as I mentioned before, see, fear demands attention. So if we walk around in fear, always focusing on the negative and what might happen and all the negative possibilities and outcomes, where do you think that road will lead? It'll lead to a lack of peace, um, a loss of purpose, maybe feeling disconnected. So let me encourage you, in a time where so many different things are trying to violently rip your focus from you, Focus on God and what he has called you to do. You know, bring your concerns to him daily, like the Bible says, even hourly because he cares for you and has a good plan for your good future. I'll leave you with this, something to think about. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, For God has not given us, he's not given you or me a spirit of fear, but one of power, one of love, and one of a sound mind. Hey, thanks so much for watching our video. We also want to say thanks to our video sponsor, Digital Consultants. Building your online presence is more important than ever, especially during a time where the world is uh, mostly online due to COVID-19. And that's exactly where digital consultants can help you. Uh, they can help you through SEO and mobile friendly website and app designs, plus social media strategies that get results and generate leads. Visit them at digitalconsultants.ca or click the link in the description.